Hello everyone. I welcome you on the behalf of Victorian Kids Jodhpur. Before we begin, let's understand the teaching pattern. First, we will read a paragraph. Then I'll explain all the difficult words in it using examples and pictures. Following this, I'll explain the entire paragraph in simple words and then we'll move to the next paragraph. When we are done reading the entire chapter, I'll explain all the exercises that you need to do in your notebook. You will be sent the reading material and the exercises through the mobile application of Victorian Kids Jodhpur. In case if you don't have the username or the password, kindly contact on the number 9414127180. You must keep yourself updated on the app. All further instructions and notifications will be sent through it only. We will be reading the first chapter of English literature in this video. The name of the chapter is Sam's Blue Hat. Now let's begin. One day, Sam lost his hat. It was a blue hat. It was warm and soft. It had a pom-pom on its tip. Now we will discuss all the words that were difficult and underlined in the previous slide. The first word was warm. Warm means something that has higher temperature and it makes you feel comfortable. In Hindi, warm means garam. During winters, you wear woolen clothes because they make you feel warm and comfortable, isn't it? The next word is soft. Soft is opposite of hard. If you sit on a wall, you will find it hard. But if you sit on a pillow or a cushion, you will find it soft. If something is soft, you feel really good while touching it. Soft means mulayam in Hindi. For example, if you touch a ball of wool, you will find it soft. Similarly, if you touch a feather, you will find it soft too. The third word was pom-pom. Pom-pom is a small ball made of wool which is used for decoration, especially on a hat. In these pictures of hats, you can see there is a pom-pom attached on the topmost end of each hat. The fourth word was tip. Tip means the topmost end of something. For example, in the first picture, you see the tip of the mountain. Similarly, in the picture next to it, you see the tip of the tongue. Now let's understand whatever we read in the first paragraph. There is a boy whose name is Sam. He had a blue-colored hat which was warm and soft with a pom-pom on its topmost end. As you can see, this is the pom-pom. Now, we will read the next paragraph. A little mouse saw the blue hat. It looked warm and soft. The mouse moved in. Here, we have underlined the word moved in. Moved in 
means to get into something or to enter some place. The mouse saw the blue hat that Sam lost. He found it warm and soft and hence the mouse gets into it. Now let's read the third paragraph. A bunny saw the blue hat. It looked warm and soft. The bunny hopped in. The blue hat got bigger. Now, we have two words to explain. First is bunny. Bunny means rabbit. The second word is hopped in. It means to move in by jumping on all feet together at a time. Now, I'll show you a video of rabbits hopping. This is how rabbits hop. They move by jumping on all feet together. Now let's read the next paragraph. A fox saw the blue hat. It looked warm and soft. The fox went in. The blue hat got bigger. As the fox enters the hat, it gets bigger in size. It is just like a balloon. The more the air you fill in it, the bigger it would get in size. Matlab, jitni ab gubare mein hawa bharte jayenge, utna hi uska size bada hota jayega. Same thing is happening with the hat. As more animals are entering into the hat, its size is getting bigger and bigger. Now we'll move on to the next paragraph. A goat saw the blue hat. It looked warm and soft. The goat ran in. The blue hat got bigger. Now we'll move on to another paragraph. A ladybug saw the blue hat. It looked warm and soft. The ladybug moved in. Now let's understand what a ladybug is. A ladybug is a small flying insect, usually red in color with black spots. So, the ladybug also enters Sam's warm and soft blue colored hat. And Pop went the blue hat. Here we have underlined the word Pop. Pop means to burst with a sudden short sound like this. So, as soon as the ladybug enters the hat, the hat bursts and makes a pop sound. The mouse was sad. The bunny was sad. The fox was sad. The goat was sad. The ladybug was sad. So, everyone, including the mouse, the rabbit, the fox, the goat and the ladybug, got unhappy because the hat got burst. Now, what was left? Oh, only the pom-pom. Once the hat was gone, the only thing left behind was the pom-pom.
With this, the chapter ends. I will now tell you what all exercises should be done in the notebook.